The state unemployment rate is at a historic low, but does it tell the whole story of Alabama's labor market? Yeah, a new study suggests that fewer young people are either in school or working in Alabama than any other state in the country. I went in depth on how the state is working to change this. If you want a job in Alabama, labor experts say there are plenty to pick from. But what happens when young people stop looking? It's a question facing the Alabama Workforce Council. A lot of them probably are confused about where they could get work, but there, they, there are others that have barriers to entering the workforce. 18 percent, or nearly 90,000 young Alabamians are considered disconnected. Roughly half label their disability or a family member's as a barrier to work. Transportation is another factor. 19% report not having reliable transportation. It's a problem even at Lawson State Community College. That is a barrier when, when you don't have someone to keep your child or you don't have transportation to go to school, um, then it becomes a real challenge to, um, to catch a bus every morning to come to class and if the bus runs at 6 30 in the morning and the class starts at nine you know you're getting there pretty early for a nine o'clock class right governor k ivy says the key to increasing the labor force is making more skilled young workers it's the work of shops like these at lawson state community college nursing robotics and advanced manufacturing remain the most in demand sectors a lot of companies are hiring now and can't find quality employees so uh, at Lawson State, we try to work with those employers to partner them up with the students that we have here on campus that we feel like would be a good fit. Power on both sides. Finding that fit is a challenge statewide. But we have power on the ground side. Community colleges like Lawson State offer certificates in many of these areas and in some cases can turn out qualified workers in just three semesters. If we're going for the youth, we're going to have to go to those uh, media types that... Uh, that, that they use. If you see that light flash, what's that light telling you? To do it, the Alabama Workforce Council launched the Alabama Talent Triad. We've developed a basically uh, the DNA of job descriptions. It's been a long process, taking a lot of work, but it allows employers to speak the same language when they're looking for a uh, certain job to fill. So basically, uh, it's been described as sort of a match.com for. Uh, people seeking employment, also employers looking for employees. It hopes to use social media to funnel job seekers to it, so young Alabamians know exactly what's possible in the job market. And state officials say that the goal is not 100% labor participation. Young people do have to go to school after all, but the hope is reducing it will remove the help wanted signs in a state with already record low unemployment.